What's going on, Yelani? We got another problem here similar to the last one. Um, the only difference is this one has a change in area on two tubes. But the question reads, determine the change in the elevation of the mercury in the left leg of the manometer as a result of an increase in pressure of 5 PSI in pipe A, while the pressure in pipe B remains constant. So, I mean, I wouldn't worry about this problem coming up on an exam. This is a little too advanced. If he does put it, it's only going to be this one and another one because this one could uh, take uh, some time, especially if he didn't teach it right during class. So let's go. All right, so this one's easier. It's asking for the, the elevation of the mercury in the left leg. So unlike the 245, we're not going to have to change our axis. Remember, we did that. So this one's a little bit easier in that sense, but there is a catch, right? There's a difference in diameter here and here so it's gonna when you when you increase the pressure here it's gonna push this down a distance but that distance is not the same as distance this distance so we'll see that right now you'll see so first thing right knowns we're dealing with water or do we write knowns first we got water and that is in inches so we know it's 62.4 pounds per feet cubed and converting it that's gonna give us 0 0.0361 pound per inch squared we're dealing with mercury um, I don't believe it mentions it here in the problem no but um, this will be given I don't think it does right no it doesn't yeah, so, I mean, your professor will give this number to you, so don't even worry about it. 847 pound per feet cubed. Converting that is going to be 0 0.49 pound per inch squared. Everything inch squared, right, because we got PSI. Then this is in inches, and this is in inches as well. So, to make life easier, gamma of oil. One right here, we know the specific gravity 0 0.9, so 0 0.9 times this number is 0 0.032 pound per inch squared. And that's pretty much it to this problem. So we can go ahead and get started with the equation, the before and after. So step two, this is the before. So we start at pressure A. We're going down, so that's positive. We're dealing with water, and that is 18 inches. So this is before the before the pressure increase, just what you're seeing right now, pretty much. So that's 18 inches, cool. Um, from this point to this point, we're actually going up this little distance. So, and that little distance is this one right here. So let's go, I don't know if you see that, but all the way out here this little distance right here that distance the angle is 30 so and we know the hypotenuse that's six so it's sine 30 is equal to h right what we're trying to find over six that is six sine 30 so it's mercury we're going up so it's gamma minus gamma of Hg times 6 sine 30. Now from this point to this point, we're going up 12 inches. It's oil going up negative. It's oil times 12 inches. And that is Pb. Cool. So there's equation one right here. Hold on, I'll, I'll move my hand real quick so you can see but uh, that's what's going on right there um the after scenario so now we're gonna do after and after just means when we increase the pressure uh, to 5 psi so you're gonna have pa that stays still um solution calls it a prime so we'll put prime um it goes down so if we increase this line right here it's gonna go down it's gonna maybe be right here, right? I'm just guessing. So it goes down some distance A. And this is gonna go from here to here maybe. And that goes some distance B horizontally, not vertically. 
B, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, so water is going to be, we're going down right from this point to this point here now. And that is 18 plus some distance A. Now we're going from here to here because it went down here and it went up here. So now we're going from here to here. So we're going to, it's going up. It's mercury that we're dealing with. And that height is A, right? Because because this A right here is the same distance uh, around here now. So this point transfers over here. And this height right here. Pretend it's the, the same height, okay? Right here. So I just drew a line from here to here. It's dark, so I know you really can't see. And then from here to here. And this little distance is A right there. So now we're going up A, 6 sine 30, and then B sine 30. So since this distance right here is B, we're gonna, this is gonna be our B sine 30. Uh, ooh, forgot the I. There we go. So that distance, I don't know if you could see, it's pretty small, but B sine 30. Um, so that distance is gonna be A, right? From here to here, it's A plus 6 sine 30 plus B sine 30. I hope that makes sense. It's a little confusing with a small drawing, but that is what it is. So now we're at this point. Now we're going up. That one's a little bit easier. It's oil. And that distance is 12 minus B sine 30. So 12 minus B sine 30. 30 and that is equal to PB we arrived at PB uh, this is equation 2 okay you really can't see it but that's fine okay so next thing you do just like a 245 we did a final minus initial after minus before right so now I'm gonna put equation 2 minus equation one all right and if you want me to explain why we do this just check the other video i'm not going to do it here um but obviously there's a reason to it right you want to find the the height here but let's do that so it's p a prime minus p a um when you subtract all of when you subtract this term minus this term you just get plus gamma of water times a right because the 18 is canceled out then when you do this one the 6 sine 30 cancels out and you're left with the other two so minus gamma of hg a plus b sine 30 and when you do the oil one the 12 cancels out so you have negative times a negative b sine 30 that's a positive Gamma oil, B sine 30. And that is equal to PB minus PB is zero, so zero. So we got those two, uh, that equation right there, that's uh. Now normally, um, if you check the other video, we're pretty much good, we solve for A, right? But in this case, we can't because we don't know A or B. But we do know this, um, the volume of the liquid here is the same volume that's displaced here. So since it's different diameter, that number, the distance here and the distance here is not the same. So what we do is step five, we set the volumes equal to each other. So volume at A is equal to volume at B. So, volume at A, um, well, the volume, it's uh, for a cylinder, it's pi r squared, right? The area, the cross-sectional area, times the length. And let's put of A is equal to pi r um, uh, of the second point. Uh, you know what? I'm a little confusing. Uh, instead of A, let's call this point 0.1 and point 0.2, right? Just so... 
you don't get confused. So it's pi, I'm sorry, pi of the first point, pi r squared of the second point, and this distance l is just a, right? A, and this one's b. So pi r squared times length. So pi's cancel out, let me erase this piece right here. Pi's cancel out um, the radius of the first point that is half divided by two. That is, what is it? 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 squared of A is equal to, and the, this is 0 0.25. Half of that is 0 0.0125 squared. And that is B. Uh, let's go here to save space. Um, that's going to be, if you do the numbers right, it's going to be 0 0.0625. A is equal to 0 0.015625. B. Um, we got that. Solve for one of them. It really doesn't matter what. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this one over here because I know this bigger is number than this one. And I hate dealing with fractions, so instead I'll just get 4a is equal to b. You could do a is equal to b over 4, but you're going to put a fraction here, and then it's a bigger headache, at least in my opinion. So let's go ahead and do step 6. Then uh, plug in for every b value you see here, plug in 4a. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have... I'm going I'm to go ahead and put in the difference. It's a positive 5, right? increased pressure of 5 psi so that's going to be 5 psi it's not 5000 like in newton meters you gotta be careful it's just five here um plus gamma of water that is 0 0.0361 times a minus gamma of mercury that is 0 0.49 times a plus b sine 30 b sine 30 is 0 0.5 b this is 0 0.5 now if you multiply 0 0.5 uh here it's going to be 4a 0 0.5 in other words that's just 2a plus 2a does that make sense well, I hope it does, right? Um, just plug in uh, 4a for b times half. That's 2a. That's all it is. Plus gamma of oil. Oh, we're plugging in numbers. I forgot. All right. Gamma of oil is 0 0.032 times b sine 30. Again, b is 4a. So 4a sine 30, that is 2a equals zero uh let's keep it going um so you'll get five plus zero point zero three six one a uh that's gonna be that's three a so zero point forty nine times three a that's negative one point forty seven a plus 0 0.064a equals zero. So that's what the equation looks like after we plugged in uh, 4a for every b, and then once you plug in the, the actual numbers. So that's what that looks like now. Um, combine all the like terms. Um, five, and then I'm gonna move all, if you add um, these up, you're gonna get a negative number, move it to that side, you'll get a positive number. 5 is going to equal 1.37a, and then finally, a is equal to 3.65 inches, or convert it to feet, 0 0.304 feet. So here's your answer. And again, unlike 245, we don't have to do the trigonometry, right? Because they don't want the height along the inclined leg. They want it along the left leg right here. 
If they would have asked the height along here, then yeah, just like 245, we'll rotate the paper again, do the trigonometry and all that good stuff. But yeah, that is the answer for this one.